Umar has been providing technology solutions for entire spectrum of energy sector, generation, transmission, distribution, battery storage, and electrical automation. Apart from price variation for this. Imal is focused on manufacturing of electrical equipment with indigenously developed technology, which suits the Indian conditions. I urge the manufacturers under constant endeavor to reduce the operating cost, enhance the availability, and improve the quality of power for extending the value added services to customers. Meters with an affordable cost. <coughs> Few years back, we observed that critical equipment such as power transformers, reactors, were standards in respect of high voltage electrical equipment and incorporate the suitable clauses for strengthening and technical specifications as per the latest guidelines of CEA which helps to get standardized equipment going for stringent technical requirements may increase our cost by a small margin but at the end of the day power utilities as well as manufacturers will ensure the highest quality. EMA has been instrumental in manufacturing well-tested equipments of proven design and standard, standard benchmarks duly complained with environmental norms. To address the latest challenges of sector, I request EMA to kindly further fo focus on R&D initiatives which need to be coordinated at national level to avoid duplication of efforts and resources by different organizations and also to bring about efficiency at all levels of product life of cycle. Sir, I always believe and also I hope all of you also believe with me, technology to be the latest, quality to be the best and cost to be the least. This is what whenever, whenever I address our colleagues also, I emphasize on this. And not a book. This is made of thousands and thousands of TS Transco engineers' hard work led by Jagat Reddy Garu and mentored by none other than the CMD Prabhakar Rao Garu. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, look at here, please, everyone. Thank you, sir. First of all, thank you for inviting me. And uh, in advance, congratulations for the great success you, of the Telegrama. And uh, whatever our uh, Gopal Rao has said, so we are part of that. So we said 2,100 units consumption units consumption per capita, highest capita is indirectly told all of us that there is the greatest opportunity in Telangana to reduce the number of units that where we can use our products. So I come from CAA, the Confederation of Indian Industry, about 127 years old organization. Um, we have CAA has 10 centers of excellencies. One center of excellence is CIA Indian Green Building Council. It is headquartered in Hyderabad. It is it's supported by the state government. And uh, uh, this is a great organization globally. Uh, so we are talking about the green buildings. So two, two, 20 years back, we have collaborated with the US. Then we have developed one building that is in, in the technically opposite to Google office, IGBC campus. 20 years back, it was the first platinum building outside the United States of India. Now it is a net zero building in India. Net zero building in India. And it started with 20,000 square foot with collaboration for a period of time. We have developed 20 ratings for different uses of the built up space. Data centers, it consumes huge energy. 
So it has a different rating. Homes it has a different rating. Hospitals, railway stations. You know, we have 20 ratings we have developed. No other country has so many ratings. Maybe one or two ratings uh, some countries have. But the highest ratings India is having. So involving all the stakeholders of the particular industry. And uh, almost uh, 9,000 projects are registered with uh, IGBC. Uh, 9.75 billion square foot green foot with IGBC, which is the second largest globally. And we, 20 years back, we used to import the green buildings, green products, green services, green fittings and fixtures. Today, we have certified as a green pro products, about 5,000 plus products. About 96 of the percent of the building material are now certified with IGBC. We, we are going to you know, have collaboration in future to take it sustainability part of it. It's a great, uh, you know, even our own CA members are there, maybe common members are there, but it's going to be great effort. Definitely in a reduction of the energy, you know, we, we always in all ratings, we, it comes first, how to go over the uh, energy saving fittings and fixtures, and also building envelope and uh, renewable energy. These are the main points in rating. So we are in line with the, your for sustainable future, IGPC is the forefront. And with our collaboration, I think we will we'll take it to great heights. And any, anything saved, as uh, uh, Gopal Gavgar said, if uh, one unit is saved, one and a half unit generation is saved. No? So that, 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 that way IGP is playing a big role. It's similar in the water, or water also, water the savings, uh, recycling of water and building material. It's a bit large, I think uh, uh, shortly we'll be crossing 10 billion. And many government organizations or departments are coming forward. Even for example, the best thing is in the recently our held uh, Green Building Congress, TSIS, Telangana State Industrial Infrastructure Corporation, and entered at MOU. Uh, in future, whatever the industrial estates are going to come, they are all green rated industrial estates. The most prestigious project in Telangana, the Police Command Control, which recently now with the Chief Minister, we are proud, myself, I am proud to you know, give this. Rating, platinum rating to the Harbour Chief Minister of the Dai that day. And now new secretary also, they are registered. Uh, that is an iconic building. And many buildings, many hospitals, big hospitals in there. Telangana is very proactive. So the railways, Indian railways are doing in a big way. Metro, all metros across the country are doing. Uh, all industries are there. Private sector also, our developer friends across the country, they are taking up in a big way. Whoever is taking the first building, ultimately all other buildings are going with the green rating. There is a great savings. Great saving, payback is almost one or two years. Up to silver rating, there is no additional cost. Only thing is mindset. Somebody has to approach them, tell them, do the counseling. Up to silver rating, there is no additional cost. Maybe gold and platinum rating, it will cost less. But whatever Gopal Nagar has said, I am with him. Ultimately, the supplier and also rating agencies has to take the ownership. So what is said is take the ownership. You don't just sell and forget ownership. Then when we take the ownership, we talk about the durability, life cycle and everything. So with this, once again, so I will build also the entire data. We have a huge data base of customers. We will try circulate about this event. And we will also part of it. Our colleagues will come to my drivers and we have 29 chapters across the country. We will communicate everybody for 20. So and we are going to the partners, future partners. Definitely I will wish once again. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. My name is Jitendra Kumar Agarwal. I am here as a chairman of Elekrama 2023. Elekrama is the largest TND exhibition in the world and also the largest electrical and allied electronic products and equipment show in the world. So we are very proud that 15th edition of Elekrama is happening at Greater Noida IEML from 18th February to 22nd February 2023. So, as of now, more than 1200 exhibitors have already registered and we expect more than 1500 exhibitors to be participating in Elekrama 2023 with a footfall of almost 100,000 people per day. So, it's a five-day exhibition. We are expecting it to be much bigger and better from the last editions. It is in Noida, same like we are connecting in Hyderabad actually. So, Hyderabad today, we are doing a road show. And great, this is such a large exhibition where we need more than 100,000 square meter of area. And only IEML is the place in India where we are able to organize it. 
So, we are not uh, seeing this happening in Hyderabad in the near future. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.